in this video we're going to look at the Egyptian number system. And this is a system now that uses hieroglyphics pictures, sacred pictures actually for them, to represent numbers. And it's a system that started about 3000 BC. And they would use this symbol right here for 1, this one for 10, this one for 100. If you notice, it's like our base 10 system, which makes it kind of nice for us to work with. Uh, the numbers are not positional, so it does not matter whether I write 13 as 3 1s and a 10, or a 10 and 3 1s. It doesn't really matter. It's additive in that we simply add together all the symbols that we need to get our numbers. So suppose we want to do an addition problem, let's say 13 and 25. What you would then do is collect all of the like symbols, and you got 5 and 3, so you want 8 of the 1 symbol, the 1s, and 3 of the 10s, and that would be your 38. Let's do the next one, 47 and 86. I'll put in there for you their, their uh, hieroglyphics for you, and then we can go ahead and add it. So there's our 47 and our 86. So they want to add these two. They're going to take 7 of their 1s and 3 of these 1s and end up getting a 10 for that. So what's left is 1, 2, 3 1s. And now if they wanted to do the 10s, they would say there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And they replace that 10 then with a, yes, that's right, a 100. So now we have three of our 10s left and one of our 100s. So there's how they would write the answer to this addition problem. We would do it as 6 and 7 is 13, 4, 8 and 1 is 13, 133. There's their 100, there's their 30, there's their 3. Let's look now at a subtraction problem using this system. And we'll do one which we have to do some trading on. 31 minus 15. I'll put in for you the, the um, symbols. Now they can't take five ones from one one, so they're going to trade in a 10, and they'll replace that with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. So now we're going to take 10, uh, take away 5 ones from here, and we'll take away 5 ones from here. And what's now left in terms of ones? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we're going to have our answer has 6 six ones in it. And we have to have two tens take away one ten leaves us with the one ten. And that's how they would subtract them. The answer would be ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, sixteen. And that's what we would get in our system. Hope this helps you with addition and subtraction in the understanding of the Egyptian number system. We'll do another video with multiplication because it's a little more complicated. As always, have a very happy day.